Hi, this short video will show how to go about leveling uh, the resource usage in a Microsoft project plan. So this is a small example, a uh, small uh, soft, uh, software project. Uh, we have two level one deliverables, uh, one for installing, developing, installing the software. The other one is for project documentation and you see the picture here uh, or the plan here basically this starts on first january uh, 6 january of uh, 20 and gets done by 28th of august on uh, in the same year uh, right now this is unleveled and <clears throat> we'll if we go we can verify that it's unleveled by going to resource sheet and you see <clears throat> some of the resources are overloaded so we can see what is the usage right now in this plan. So I can insert a column called peak, and that shows me the peak units for uh, these resources. Now, assuming that these resources are available only at 60% of the peak, we can change these numbers down to 120%, 120%, and 120%. So <clears throat> if that were uh, our resource availability, we can level our plan to do not run over uh, these available percentages. So go back to, um, we don't need to, but it helps to see the leveling in action in, on the Gantt chart. So I go back to Gantt chart and action as in you will see the dates will change here for the finish date. So I go to resource menu here, or resource ribbon, open the leveling options. So this provides the leveling options we can. Uh, the first step really should be to check uh, mark on level only within available Slack and see if uh, activities can be moved around within the available Slack. That means the end date will not change. For a real project, typically that's pretty uh, ambitious to achieve that within uh, without extending the project date. Uh, and right now I'm not demonstrating that for some reason uh, it's this particular option is not working for my version of project. I have uh, done the online repair uh, for this, but it still is not working. So we'll skip that. And, and as I said, usually this would not really work for most real projects. So we will allow that to happen. That is, we are not requesting available uh, with leveling within available slack only will allow the project to extend so with that i'll just go ahead and click on level all and so i just did that and you see some things changed and and whatever has changed is highlighted in this light very light blue color uh, and you can see the date has now gone from uh, august 28th to now 10th of november um, and and so and you also see the um, critical path shifted over, uh, so we got critical path coming up to here, and then it jumps over down there. And you see uh, there's a gap in the critical path also here, and so that really is in indicating that there is a resource critical path. Um, and so essentially, during this time, since we had to level the resources, uh, the, the there is this resource critical path of these two activities uh, falling on the resource critical path, uh, causing the gap between uh, the critical path uh, activities. Um, so, but but the leveling, as you notice, it leveled. How would we also see leveling? Uh, we can also go to see uh, the resource graph. Uh, and in resource graph, the view, let's see, we need to adjust so we can see what's the resource name. We'll go ahead and zoom for the entire project. And so that shows the assistant project managers uh, loading. And we can basically scroll through different folks. But you notice here, project ma uh, earlier, the project manager was up above 100%. It was a 200% peak. Now it's down to, it's actually 90%, between 80 and 90. Uh, well, 88%, if you see down here. Um, similarly, assistant PM was up 200%, but now it's uh, at 100%, and so on. So you can see uh, the resources have been uh, leveled. 
Now, uh, let's say if you want to um, go further and say we don't like to see uh, this peak here, uh, or even though it's you know at 38% and 88%, but just for the sake of demonstrating, we'll say if we want to reduce a peak down. Uh, and so what we would do for that, let, we'll first figure out what's the capability uh, or what's the what are the activities that are causing that peak. So we go and we'll use the split view. I'll click on details and select from here, Gantt chart. And so that shows us there really is this uh, activity that happens every so often. Uh, and it's actually, we can see over here, it's a review activity, project review activity uh, that is causing that peak to happen. And we can wonder, we can look also where is the rest of the time commitment going on. So we can scroll down to see which other activity are, are taking project manager's time. And so there's this manage project hammock activity that is taking uh, project manager's time on basically a 38% all the time, uh, except for when we do that review, then that uh, makes it go up. So just in, for the purpose of demonstrating uh, to, uh, to uh, stretch this activity or increase the duration of the activity and bring uh, the resource requirement down, uh, we'll uh, change this particular, just one of the project review report activity to uh, show how it would work. So first thing, we our assumption was the original plan had uh, activity durations figured out based on um, optimum duration. Uh, so if it's optimum duration or optimum settings, then uh, if we change the activity duration, then the work will actually increase. So first let's make sure First, let's say we calculated and we said, well, if we go to a non-optimum setting, the work will increase by 20%. And so first I'm going to go and increase the work to by 20, uh, or duration by 20%. That's essentially is increasing work by 20%. And actually, let me demonstrate that first. So let me skip out here. Um, so let's add a column called work. So we can track what's happening to work when we change. So it's 0 0.08 months. Uh, so now 0 0.08 months, and let's say, um, so we'll basically calculate roughly how much uh, the impact of non-optimum setting would be. And as I said, we are assuming that would take us to 1.2 days, or really uh, at 2.09 months of work. But let's um, maybe move this a little bit here so we can see the, so when, when you make a change like this, project gives you options. Uh, so I'll select on that so that I can see the options. And so it's saying we can increase work, we just increase the duration. So our choices are we can increase work or we can decrease, uh, we can keep the same amount of work and decrease how much time they are working. So in this case, since we really wanted to increase the work for non-optimum setting, I'll take the first option, just click on that again and so you see that um, warning message goes away uh, and now the, the work is, uh, duration is set to 1.2 and you see work went up to 0 0.09 months. And, and so that's our assumption, that's how much increase in work would happen because of non-optimum setting. And now that we have done that, now we will go and stretch the duration. So I'll um, select information for this task I'll change, go to advanced, change this to a fixed work type of activity. Okay. And so why I'm doing that is so now when we make the duration longer, the work does not get reduced. And we have already adjusted for um, uh, the non-optimum setting. So now I'll go ahead and make it two days. Hit enter and you'll again get choices. And let me get the choices here. So the choices are increase work or decrease the hour resources work per day, but keep the same amount of work. But since, since we have taken the option to make it fixed work, that makes sense to take the second option. And so I select that. And so you see here, now the peak has gone down. So we had 88%, it dropped down to 68% because we made the duration longer. Uh, two days compared to the other review activities. 
uh, and so thus you can achieve a reduction in peaks where it's needed. Um, you can make the case in this example, it's, I mean, it's not necessarily needed, but this shows the process on how that can be achieved. Uh, so there, there's uh, another option uh, that you might want to consider, and that should be really towards the last resort. First, you really want to see uh, in terms of doing things within the Slack or leveling things within the Slack. If not, allowing the project to extend. If not, then you look at stretching activities for peak uh, um, to reduce to the peak. And actually, if you are had valleys, uh, suddenly very low resource requirement, you want, may want to increase the, or raise the valley. Uh, in which case you will follow the same steps what I just did here, uh, but instead of increasing the duration, we'll reduce the duration for crashing. But the steps would be same. First, you will figure out how much is the uh, impact of non-optimum setting. You will increase the work to that level. Then you will uh, change it to fixed work and then reduce the duration to increase the time commitment uh, per day or, or per hour or, or, or per week and so on. So, so that will raise the requirement for the resource uh, and in uh, that particular period. So that was, uh, that's the preferred path. But then if that doesn't work uh, to your satisfaction, then you can go into actually replacing the resource. So in this case, um, let's say for the first one, we did this. For the second one, we say, well, let's look at this other alternate approach. And so for project manager, we let's see, an, alternate resource might be uh, the assistant PM. And you look at assistant PM is only busy in the month of January looks like, and after that it, he or she is available. And so we say, okay, so let's shift the, some of the work for the second review cycle to the assistant project manager. And so we'll do something, something similar. We say, okay, so if you're going to assistant project manager, that's not really the optimum setting for us. And so there would be some um, impact of that. And so we say, okay, there's at like 10%, let's say we, as we figure out that there's a 10% uh, inefficiency because of having a stint project manager do that. So hit enter. And similar to last time, we'll say first we want to increase the work. So we'll increase work. And so we increase the work, and now we say we'll um, shift the responsibility to an assistant project manager. So I'm going here, move that to assistant PM, and say OK. And you see that disappeared from here. So the peak for project manager disappeared. And if we go to assistant PM, that work of 50% moved over to this place. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, resource. So, so that's another way of, uh, and this should be done sparingly uh, at the, as, a, as I said, as a last resort. Uh, and so that, but that is an option. Um, and really you would have also an option to hire a new resource, again, very sparingly last resort. And in that case, you would, once you add a new resource to the resource sheet, you can come back and do the same way a shift work from uh, a busy resource to uh, a new resource. So that demonstrates how you would go about um, a leveling and, and, and leveling using Microsoft project uh, capability as well as then doing manual uh, changes such as those demonstrated here for stretching the activity and similar path for crashing the activity are for uh, changing to uh, an existing resource and you would use a similar path for changing to a new resource. Hope this was helpful.